In this lesson, we are going to involve trigonometry that talks about bearing problems. And there's two different kinds of bearings. This one we're going to be talking about is bearing from true north. So if you were talking about 210 degrees, um, normally we would start on the x-axis and we would kind of come around 210 degrees. But this is every one of these things that we're going to do. We're going to be drawing everything from the north and we're going to be heading in a clockwise direction from true north. So this is true north. So to get to 210, we're going to go 180 and then we're going to go 30 degrees past that. So we're going to do 300. We're going to go 180, 270, and then 30 degrees past that. To go 100, you're just going to go 90 and then 10 degrees past that. So similar, but a little bit different. We're not starting on the x-axis. We're starting true north and we're going in a clockwise fashion. So um, let's do a word problem associated to that. We're trying to find the bearing of an airplane located at negative 5.5 if the radar station is at 0, 0. So let's draw a picture. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we're looking for that bearing right there. So how far are we? Well, um, if we make this into a triangle, you are negative five that direction, five that direction. Now you are welcome to do um, Sokotoa, do tangent to figure this out. Um, but it's also uh, an isosceles right triangle which makes it a 45 degree reference angle. So if that's 45, then our bearing is gonna be um, 270 degrees plus the 45. So 275 plus 45 puts our bearing at 315. So bearing is 315 degrees. All right, so let's do another type of word problem. This one is, we have uh, two ships leaving the same port. I missed that, two ships leaving the same port um, at the same time. We have the first has a bearing of 40 degrees heading at 18 knots, and then the second has 130 degree bearing at, traveling at 26 knots. How far apart are they in an hour and a half? Well, again, picture is going to be everything. So I'm going to draw our x and y axis. If we go 40 degrees, we're bending 40 degrees off of um, true north. So that puts us kind of favoring a little bit more north. Uh, we'll make that a little bit smaller because this one's not going as fast. And then over here, we're going 30, uh, 130 degrees. So 130 degrees is going to be 50 degrees shy of 180 or 40 degrees past um, the 90. So something like that. Uh, it's going a little bit faster, so we'll have it go out just a little bit further. So we're heading in that direction. We're heading in that direction. So now um, we have some information. This is 40 degrees. Um, this is 40 degrees, and if this is 40 degrees, that puts this at 50 degrees, which is wonderful because it makes that a right angle. So we're looking for how far apart are they after one and a half hours. We are looking for that distance right there, and just so happens that made us a right triangle. So. Our right triangle is, um, how far is that? So we went uh, 1.5 hours at 18 knots. So if you multiply uh, 18 times 1.5, that puts that at 27. And then 26 times 1.5 puts us at 39. Um, and we're looking for this. So this really isn't... Um, it's not a Sokotoa type of a problem. You don't need sine, cosine, and tangent because you can do Pythagorean theorem to finish that off. So if we did Pythagorean theorem, we'll do 25 squared plus 39. 39 squared 
and that's going to equal our hypotenuse squared. So if you square this, square this, add it together, adds up to 2250. Square root both sides, and our distance apart from each other is about 47.4 nautical miles. And that is an introduction to bearing um, from the true north. And currently we're going to probably, um, most of the triangles are going to be right triangles somehow, some way. Uh, we haven't got to the triangles where we're, how do we deal with triangles that are not right triangles? That'll eventually come back up where you'll have this similar type of question, but you won't get this nice right angle in there. So that's something coming up. But that was bearing involving um, your bearing from true north. Thanks.